So since it's the end of the year, I really wanted to talk about my game of the year for 2015, but also my most disappointed game for 2015. And right now we're just going to focus on the, on the disappointed, get the negative out of the way first. The game of the year video will come out in a few days, definitely before New Year's. I might actually do it on New Year's Eve. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, this year has, there's been quite a few great games, and 2016 is looking even better. Um, there's been some ups and downs, but for the most part, there hasn't really been anything too disappointing. There's only three games I can really think of off the top of my head that are disappointing in any way, shape, or form. And no, this game is not one of them. If anyone has, like, looked at my trophies. I haven't really talked about this game, but I did get it not that long ago. Have been playing it, loving it. Um, it's a game just like Devil's Third that gets a lot of hate. Um, Devil's Third, another game not disappointed with. Not disappointed with Animal Crossing and Amiibo Festival. Not disappointed with Mario Tennis. Uh, you know, Not disappointed with all the 3DS games that have come out, including Happy Home Designer, Triforce Heroes, so on and so forth. Uh, not disappointed with any of that. Um, not disappointed with Uncharted. I know people kept going nuts because it has no multiplayer, even though it had all three games, fully remastered, looking beautiful, with photo mode, uh, new trophies and everything, and you got the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta. I mean, when the new one comes out, who's going to want to go back and play Uncharted 2 and 3 multiplayer anyways? I mean, you know, so none of those games are disappointing to me. Uh, one game that is disappointing, only mildly, only mildly, is Dragon Quest Heroes. Now don't get me wrong, this game is freaking awesome. It's an awesome game. My problem with it is, it just doesn't hook me. Um, Hyrule Warriors, another Warriors game crossover, hooked me from day one when I got it. This game does not do it so easily. I guess my issue with this game is it does more of the RPG stuff that I would have liked compared to Hyrule Warriors. Like, Hy Hyrule Warriors does do the RPG stuff and the weapon crafting and skills and things like that, but Hyrule Warriors is a lot more, there's more enemies on screen, there's more mass armies, more bigger levels, more combos you can do, more wide scale stuff. Um, and this is a bit smaller in scope, and I guess that's why it's a little bit disappointing to me. But it's still an awesome game. Can't wait for the sequel. Need to play more of this though. Another disappointing game. Now this is just mostly early impressions. I haven't had a lot of time to play this game, and it, so it can change. Um, but I, but I didn't have a lot of expectations for it anyways because it's my first game in the series. But it's a uh, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Um, I don't know. I just can't get into this game. There's a lot of dialogue in the beginning that just puts me to sleep, to be honest. Um, that's just me, you know. I mean, if you guys enjoy it, you know, you know, cookie, cookie for you. It's all good, but um, I don't know. It's not just the dialogue, though. It's just the dungeons, um, the way you move. It seems to be really, I don't know, the difficulty is weird, has a weird curve to it at times. I don't know. But like I said, got to play more so that could change. But without a doubt, this is my most disappointing game because... These two games, they're not bad, they're not bad games by any means, you know. This I'm only mildly disappointed with, but I still think it's an awesome game. This, it might not be for me, but uh, it's by no means a bad game. This game, this game, in my opinion, the game's terrible. Um. This is Rodia the Sky Soldier. It does have two discs in it. This one's for the Wii. And this one's for the Wii U. Now granted, I haven't played the Wii version. I've only played the Wii U version. But before people can say, oh, you got to play the Wii version to say the game is bad or not. Not really. The reason I say this is you can count the Wii version and Wii U version as two separate games. Why? The Wii version was made. Let me see. Actually, it's there were there were two different. Prop, yes, Prop is the name 
of Yuji Naka, the guy who made Sonic, who made Knights. He used to be at Sega. He left, made Probe. That's his independent gaming studio. Um, they were responsible for quite a few things. Ivy the Kiwi is a big one. Uh, there was the Let's Tap and Let's, Let's Catch games and the Wii. Um, he helped some of the Street Pass games and the 3DS. Um, so Probe has done a lot of cool things. Uh, they made the Wii version. Rodeo of the Sky Soldier was a huge ambitious project of theirs. They made the Wii version. Um, it was completed back in 2011, I believe, but it went unreleased. Um, finally, they got more funding, and uh, this developer, Katakawa Games, I think they're called, um, they made a 3DS version. Here's where it gets fucked up. Yeah, yeah, Katakawa Games. So, what happened was, the game's development, it, it was completed in 2011 for the Wii, by Pro. And, Katokawa Games, um, came back years later, decided, they got them to make a game, a version for the Wii U and 3DS. Now, what they did was, they made it, they made a brand new version of the game, from the ground up. New engine, new gameplay, new levels, new everything. Um, from what I understand, for the 3DS. Then they took that 3DS game and they ported it over to the Wii U. Stretched it out a bit. So you can tell when you look at the Wii U game and you put it in, it's it's one of the worst looking Wii U games. I'm not a graphics whore by any means. I don't judge a game based on its graphics. But that right there tells you like the effort put into the Wii U version. I haven't played the 3DS version because I only bought the Wii U version, which comes with the Wii version. Um... I know it sounds confusing, but yeah. Uh, anyways, so the 3DS version and Katakawa Games isn't even really a. Um, uh, they're they're not even like they're one team out of a huge like um, company, Katakawa Shoten, I think they're called. I'm actually looking it up now. Yeah, Shoten, and like they don't even really do a lot with games compared to Probe which is an indie developer, which has made some very niche but um, quality games. And it's headed by one of the biggest guys ever in the industry, Yuji Naka. You know, he made Sonic the Hedgehog. That was one of the biggest gaming icons. You can't argue with that. No matter where Sonic's at nowadays, you can't argue with the fact that he made a great gaming icon. And Yuji Naka knows quality. Um, so, yeah. Yuji Naka has even gone on record saying the Wii version is his intended way to play the game. So, I'm going to give the Wii version a shot, I will at some point, but this is strictly talking about the Wii version. Because they were made by separate, separate studios, because they are pretty much separate games, just with the same story and characters, um, I count them as separate games. And, like I said, you put the Wii U version into your Wii U, boot it up, play it, look at the levels, look at the colors, look at the textures, you know, look at the way it just... it runs. Look at the way, like, when you move Rodea. Like, look at how he moves and stuff. My issues with the game is first off, the controls are awful. God awful. I mean, there's no motion control option in the Wii U version, which is ridiculous because the game was made for motion controls to begin with. Um, so no motion controls. Use all buttons. Use a lot of convoluted buttons that half the time don't freaking work. Like, you're going to jump so you can target the enemy with your, like, floating dash attack thing. And, like, half the time your jumps don't even work. You'll be sitting there, like, trying to tap the button to jump. Your Rodea's in place. And then after, like, five seconds, he'll jump, like, five times in the air, you know. Or you'll jump, try to do your glide, and your glide won't work. And you're going off the stage. In, like, the second level, it was the first or second level, I was walking up the staircase and I just sunk into the staircase and was stuck there for like five minutes. Couldn't get out of there. It just, it just, the game just glitched and I fell into the staircase. And I was moving around, jumping around for like five minutes until Rodea finally popped out. But when he did, he spaz went all the way off the cliff and died. It's... And like I said, as far as graphics goes, it's one of the worst looking like, Wii U games. You can tell the game has been stretched out. It, it, it was a 3DS game that they ported to the Wii U. And that's just ridiculous. Like, there's, for whatever, to be honest, there was no reason a 3DS version of the game should have existed in the first place. I mean, it was a Wii game. Um, making a Wii U version makes sense 
the Wii U is a Wii successor. It still retains the, a lot of the motion control stuff and everything, you know. But making a 3DS version was just bullshit. And the fact is, you use the 3DS version as your main base for the second version, and then you port that to the Wii U. That that makes no sense. Like it's just ridiculous. The game is just it's awful. Like I I really like I said I haven't. I like I, said, I, I I played about an hour or two of it, and I have no desire to go back. And I know the Wii one is the one intended to play, but the the, the the Wii's dead. Like I mean, I like the Wii. I do. I I I'm re I do play retro games a lot. I have a huge Wii collection. I'm still buying Wii games, but the fact is, I get more excited about the newer games on a newer system. That's just that's just how I am. And then uh, the Wii U one from all the trailers, they hyped it up a lot more than the Wii version. Uh, the Wii U version actually looked pretty good with the way the trailers made it out. So the Wii U version was was the one I was really hyped up for. And then this game looked really different, looked really fresh. Um, you know, something that hasn't really been seen before. The, you know, the gameplay looked fresh. Had a nice collector's edition, which I ordered from uh, from uh, Nis America's website. And um, I just <laughs> it's most disappointing game of 2015 for me. Rodeo the Sky Soldier, Wii U version, without a doubt, without a doubt. I'll try the Wii version at some point, but yeah, it's just I, it, it's it's been killed for me. It's really been killed for me. Really been killed for me. So yeah, I just wanted to get this video out there. Like I said, I will have my Game of the Year video in a few days. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Um, what is your most disappointing game for this year, or disappointing games? Um, what do you think of my selection? Have you played Rodia the Sky Soldier? You know, um, it's already down to like 40 bucks on Amazon, but even I wouldn't recommend spending that to be honest. There's better stuff you can spend your money on. Xenoblade Chronicles X is the best thing to get for the Wii U um, this holiday season. If not that, then probably Yoshi. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will uh, definitely catch you later.